The night my mum and dad went out, I said, we won't be babysat. They said, you must not grump and pout, we're going out, and that is that. We planned a quite exciting night. At first we'll dine by candlelight, then watch a most instructive show in which we'll learn how flowers grow. You have to promise to behave. Then from the hall there came a pitter thump. We know you'll both be brave. Say hello to your babysitter. His hair was gray, his face was scarred. Right leg a peg, left hand a hook. He grinned a grin and said, my card. <laughs> it read, Long John McRon, ship's cook. My mum and dad said, time to run, Mr. McRon is going to feed you. Long John said, mateys, you have fun, and we will call you if we need you, which we will not. So off they zoomed. My sister whispered, we are doomed. <laughs> My parents had not been gone long when someone knocked upon the door and two cracked voices raised in song were joined by several voices more. The door was opened, in they came, a pirate crew, they were not tame. Now one was fat and one was thin, one had a hanky on her head, one played upon the violin, 15 bad men upon a dead man's chest and such like pirate ditties. My sister said, excuse me, when is dinner? Coming soon, my pretties, replied a pirate queen. So then the pirates headed for the fridge and gazed inside with puzzled looks. Some of the pirates scratched their heads. Some of the pirates sucked their hooks. <laughs> it's difficult to choose, said one. Impossible, began another. We have to feed them, Long John said. I told their father and their mother. We pirates always keeps our word. At this, each pirate nodded head, and so they thoughtfully conferred. Arr, beans on toast. <laughs> no beans, no bread. Or scrambled eggs, too complicated. <laughs> Spaghetti, looks like worms, one said. Old Long John thought, he hesitated. He said, me hearties, this is true. We ought to do what pirates do. We ought to make a pirate stew. Long John produced an ancient pot. He then produced a wooden spoon. We will serve it piping hot underneath a pirate's moon. He beat his spoon against the pan, and with one voice they all began, shouting out most joyfully, now we're back home from the sea. Pirate stew! Pirate stew! Pirate stew for me and you! Pirate stew! Pirate stew! Eat it and you won't be blue. You can be a pirate too.